aquaponics, the form of that, and how to control environment. Hydroponics is a method that actually is used to grow plants without the use of soil. So I go into the back where I explain further to you guys how the method is done and then we'll take Hi guys. So here we have the hydroponic system, and hydroponic is simply a set of rain plants, and then we then enrich the water in this environment. So we have the water running through the pipe, and it pumps through the entire system, and then goes back and filters and pumps through again. So that way it saves 80% more water, because it's recycling the water than you would if you were planting it in soil. You uh, provide plants directly with the nutrients that you need. So this is better to grow the plant. There are no pests or diseases, mm -hmm. and it is low maintenance because it doesn't have any weed. So it makes it low maintenance easy to manage. This system here, same kind of it, but it's a vertical system and uses the drip method where the water is dripped. Top to the bottom, collect from the bottom and pump it up again. You can use and these are clay collects, and these clay collects contribute to the plant needs. So, but these are more small uh, curves and garden vegetables and stuff like that. Over there, we have the same hydroponic system again, but uh, plants can be grown on either side of the PVC frame, and you guys can see the roots. They are very long and go down into the water and collect the nutrients that the plant needs to grow. We have, no, sorry. So we have three varieties of lettuce. Go in here, we have the butterhead lettuce, we have the Chinese lettuce, and we have the red lettuce. So these are the three varieties here. Of course, you can go anything else. You can go like pasta, butterhead, Chinese, and red lettuce. So, do you guys have any And they are connected with the so the water goes here and then it goes back to the fish. So the central phase has a tank and in the tank you have a pump and in the pump there's a mixture of um, nutrients that is pumped to supply each plant. The plant absorbs those nutrients, there's a method of pump which is used as a root and the sponge the plant absorbs the nutrients for it to use its maximum state. So from that I'll bring you guys to control environment where my pump will explain to you all all right, hi guys. Today you are learning about the three different techniques used to grow plants without soil. So let's see. We have learned about hydroponics, we learned about aquaponics, and these two is usually done outside, right? Now we have the controlled environment, which is basically growing plants inside, and you know plants need light in order to grow. So on the display board, we have three different lights that are different plants we need in order to grow. We have the T5, which is the white. We have the LED. The larger factories um, for plants to actually attract um, the sun through the process of photosynthesis. So please try not to look directly into the light because it's extremely bright. I'm just going to turn it on probably for 45 seconds. The plants will change as the voltage increases. So it starts off white, it goes to the then it reaches extreme and reaches extremely intense. Just watch. So you see it gets brighter. Brighter. Can you turn it off? I'm not turning it off now. 
All right, so here we have um, a small artificial light. I just throw a few plants inside your home. Um, today we explain to you three different lenses being used. So I have a question. What is the name of this lettuce? What kind of Great, it was ahead of this one. Yeah. Ooh, you're very good. So, here is where the nutrient will be placed, the water will be recycled, and this is all the will be ready. Now, on this board here, it's basically a little demonstrating to you what inside the manufacturer will happen, what sensors that they will use to control you know, all these plants on a large scale. So, they have the light controller, which is this one, then we have the nutrient controller. Now, you know plants need the three main macronutrients that plants need in order for them to grow. If you look up on the wall, we have P, which is just phosphorus, and K. Alright, good. So these two will be placed inside the plant. The, the light here will be emitted to what color nutrient deficiency or what nutrients is needed. And uh, the CO2, you know plants need carbon dioxide in order to grow and they give off. Oxygen. Great. So inside the industry, this is the carbon dioxide generator and the setup that it was used in order to emit and give off carbon dioxide to the plant. So this is just to show you and so you can have general knowledge of what we have inside using the class of lighting in the industry. Thank you guys.